I still can't believe I'm doing this. You see, in life, we as humans like to develop a relationship with things, whether they're people, real things, or inanimate objects. For some reason, we like to find love. Something about love making you happy, yada, yada, yada. That's for suckers. No, I'm just <laughs> no, but what I'm trying to say is when we, we as people that like to ride things and build things and tinker with things, we develop a relationship with our machines, with our toys. And then when it comes to this, it's kind of hard to let go. Now, unfortunately, sentimental value isn't, well, let's just say Joe Schmo is buying your toy, isn't interested in how much you care or how much in love you are with your machine. Just know that before we get into this 3D Machines production, I do have feelings for the Kawasaki. And that's what's gonna be hard about letting it go. But before we get to this 3D Machines production, we're gonna do a little bit of fan mail. t-shirt definitely the most interesting envelope I've ever received don't think for one second that I don't appreciate how much time this took to make very classy please keep the braptastic videos coming this lights really killing I really apologize for that I was fighting the light son of a he says, thanks for the stud, bud. You're welcome, Mr. Eagle. Thank you for thanking me. People sending more illegal things in the mail? No, I'm just kidding. I don't think this is illegal. Maybe it is. If you know, leave, leave it in the comment section below. I think you can send knives, though. Hello, 3D Machines. I am Brigham Workman from Utah. I am 15 years old. I have been watching your show for a few years. Brap on. I love this show. It's a broken self. Hi doll, do you remember me? It's Jax the Wheelie King. Here's a phone I would like to see on your wall. Stay froggy fresh. Jax, I appreciate the gesture. My, my wall is very sophisticated. I don't want to put this piece of junk on there. I hope you understand. Thank you though, thank you. I don't like this lighting. I do apologize, the sun's over here, the sun's over there. Very, very confusing stuff. I was going to try to say something scientific. I have, I got nothing. We got stuff flying everywhere. Looks like a whole bunch of lights. Mini light bar, wiring, another light bar, tools, whatever these are, I, I have no idea what those are. Stickers. Hey doll and Adam with 4x4truckleds.com here. I watch your channel religiously. Thank you. So he, he just mentions that he sent me a lot of stuff for like all my toys and things. Thank you Adam from 4x4truckleds. I'll try to use some of this stuff, thank you. All right, I'm done making a mess, let's get to this. Look at this. Got all my tools out, got the bike all back together. I have it filled with fluids. Everything's ready to rock and roll. Got the top end changed out, set my alarm for five o'clock, got up. None of those things are true, except for one. I, I did set my alarm for 5.45. Didn't wake up to like 6.17. Dalton, 3D machines. If you didn't get the top end in, why'd you put it all back together? I'll tell you why. I have three bikes. I don't need three bikes. This bike is giving me problems currently. It was seized up, the top end was shot. What I've decided to do is sell this bike. This bike right here, yeah. There's an auction coming up. I'm thinking about taking it there. So if there are any of you machine freaks that are local and you see this bike for sale or up for auction or anything like that, make sure you check out the top end and make sure somebody replaced it. Otherwise, save somewhere around $500 to $700 for yourself because that's what the top end's gonna cost. 
And then if you have labor on top of that, you're probably looking at another three to $500 on top of that. So if you see this bike for sale, keep that in mind. Saying that, it's a great bike, I love the bike. Just, it's not a wise decision for me right now to invest that kind of money when I have three bikes. Sorry baby, goodbye. And I actually do have the title for this, which is really, really rare when it comes to off-road vehicles. I have it, I got it. Transferable registration, I have it, coming in clutch. This is where it all started, you guys, which is really, really crazy. Like, this is my first bike I've ever purchased. I bought it when I had like 23, 24 hours on this tack. It's currently only has, it currently only has 81.5. I changed the oil like every two to three hours, and the top end went. My assumption is either the oil pump is shot, or there's a clog somewhere in the system. But you were my first, babe. Like, I'm not, I'm not disappointed in the fact that it blew up or anything like that. Like, stuff happens. That's all there is to it. What I'm kind of regretting is the fact that Jake just gave me a tire for that bike. Putting, like, odds and ends on it. Like, a new roller chain. I know that's nothing. But carburetor, jetting, and everything cosmetic is good. Everything suspension-wise is really, really good. Just the engine. What are you going to do? I better take off Jake's bark busters before he gets mad at me. I don't know about you, but would you be ticked off if your friend took off with your bark buster after letting you borrow it? I don't blame you. Thank you, Jake, for the kind gesture. It lasted me one race, and now you can have it back. I asked you guys what was up with my amber light, and I got a lot of responses. Thank you very much, so I'm going to investigate it right now. Gentlemen, start your engines! Oh yeah! What the heck, they're both on! What the frick? The only thing I can think of is the fact that people have only stopped me when I've had my brakes on. What the heck? What is going on? I guess I'm just crazy, you guys. Or the people that have told me that I have a light out are crazy because there's no problem when it's in park and the lights are off. No idea! Please don't make me feel like I'm a crazy person by falling in love with my bike. In the comment section below, what is a toy or machine or anything that you've fallen in love with and you really got attached with it and then it disappointed you? Leave in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Till tomorrow. Well, I don't know, but I hope I'll see you tomorrow. 3D Machines out!